Hi everyone! I'm going to do a painting on a round and this is I believe it's 6ml thick MDF and I'm going to use uh, the paints left over from my experiments so once again I'll quickly run through them creative place all of them Ultramarine Deep, Emerald Green, Skull Lake, and Cadmium Yellow Hue. And also, along with those, my Spring Brand House Paint. There we go. They are all mixed with Floetrol. This is the Floetrol I use. At approximately one part paint to one part floetrol. And there is no specific measurement. If you want 100 mils, you put 50 of paint and 50 of floetrol. Whatever it looks like for you, as long as they're equal parts. That's what I'm using anyway. Um, so, and they contain a drop of silicon and to each of the colours, not in the white. Okay, let's do it. Because there isn't a lot of paint left. So what I'm going to do is use, uh, one moment. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay, so we have the yellow. I'm going to add some white. Mm, quite generous. Look at you. Off you go. Ew. Go. Leave. Okay. Back on track. Right. So the remaining red pour into there. Tiny bit left. I'm just going for all of it. So, and blue, blue, ultramarine deep. Very beautiful. Once I've got all the colours in the cup, I will give it a little bit of a swirl and the green. Add a dash of white. Add the green. Okay, let's just scrape that just a bit more. Alright. That looks awesome. Looks nice and full. Give it a bit of stir. Through in the figure eight. Try and actually scrape in some of that yellow. Okay, not playing anymore. Alright, so we're going to flip it. Boom! Haven't done that in a while. That was very satisfying. <laughs> Little bit of white. Alright, so that's the last of that cup. This one. Okay, that's enough of that. You can already see some pretty reactions happening down here. If perhaps I lift it up, you might see it. Uh, that's awesome. Okay. Push and release. 
Oh, look at that. It looks like um, netting. That looks really cool. I'm just going to set that aside now. Let's give this a bit of a tilt around. I'm going to work in a circular motion to start with before I reach the edges. Here we go to the edges now. You can already see some amazing reactions going on. The colors very vibrant. They're just outstanding, I think. Yeah. Loving these colors. All right, I have to lose those ones. Bring that down. There's a lot of paint still on that board, so I needed to get some off. So, all right. This section here, very kind of muddy, murky, but these are beautifully bright. Give it a torch. Come on. Nice, that's how it looks. And I can work with that because what I want to do now requires some lengths of wool. Now, in my strip dip techniques, um, I haven't used wool as yet. I've only used my wax cord and the twine. So I'm going to turn this. I have my vibrant colors at the top and I'm just going to see about doing a bloom of the string dip pulls in that bottom bit. So I'm going to use my white. Right. Can you see that there? Yes. Okay. This length looks good. Yeah, so I hadn't used anything other than the wax cord and that twine. Um, so I had a friend over just yesterday and we did some pouring together and we did a swipe with the string string dip pulls and it looked absolutely amazing so that's why I thought okay for right now I'm revisiting the bright and the cells so let's put some string over the murky part I Oh, I'm making a mess. That's okay. Oh, and that reveals as well. That brought out some of the colors. If I scrape off all the murky colors on the string, pop it back in the white. Let's work on one going this way. Wow, that looks awesome. Right, a few more to go. Dip it in, get it wet. Where's 
I'm going to pull this way. Uh, it's literally just swirling the white around in the cup to cover. Going to do one through here. And I do what I do like about that too is. If there is a really thick layer of paint, you can like be scraping some of it off while you pull the string. And there we go. Through. One there, another one there. Yeah, see that looks great. Swipe it off, dip it again. This is certainly adding that extra little something to the duller, duller area and also revealing some of the brighter colours. Just wanted a nice narrow one there. Wow. Yes. One there. So yeah, I just think there needs to be one more there, possibly one more there, and I'm done. I think it's gorgeous. The silicon in the coloured paints aren't affecting the string dips too much. In fact, they're making it even more beautiful tonight. This one right there, a big full one. And one that goes there. There we go. And that's how my flip cup and string dip look. Yay. <sighs> so I am not going to uh, torch that again. Um, I do believe that torching it will cause the cells that are over these string dip pulls to just like blow up and then you will lose the effect so that's how it looks and I hope you enjoyed that I'll just grab you down and give you a closer look there we have it I believe it's beautiful but there we go The amazing effects from those string dip pulls. It still amazes me every time. So, the beautiful, vibrant colours from the flip cup with the glorious cells. 
and look at that stunning all right guys there it is thanks so much for being with me and remember wherever you are be great in the moment bye for now